you know that weird experience that we all get when you talk about somebody or you think about them and then soon after you hear from them or you run into them or when you learn about something new and you start seeing it everywhere? Those are synchronicities and they fall under our subject today which is the law of attraction. Hello my babies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lior Alexandra and there's a very powerful reason why you found my channel today. I would first like to say thank you so much for getting me to 500 subscribers. This is a modest achievement but I'm so, I feel so accomplished and I can't wait to get this little family even bigger. Our next goal is 1,000 babies and I love all 500 of you so very much. Thank you so much for being here. Secondly, today I'm going to talk about the law of attraction. I'm going to try to keep it brief and to the point. So I'm going to answer some broad questions. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them and make a second video. I've also added some useful links and notes in the description box, so make sure to read it because there's some good stuff in there. But first of all, I do have a PSA. We only hear what we want to hear. So if you're not ready to take responsibility for your life and to create the life you want to live, save this video for later and watch it when you are ready because I will welcome you back with open arms. But if you are ready, then let's get started. So unlike others, I had not seen The Secret um, documentary or read the book first. I actually, when I was 14, picked up the book The Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks. I was always a very, you know, deep little girl and I was really into self-improvement and self-empowerment even back then. So through the Abraham books, I learned about the Law of Attraction and techniques and I incorporated it into my life for the past decade already. Over the years, I've read all the Hicks books and I've had them all, but I don't. I only have one left and that's... <sighs> Ask and it is given by Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Teachings of Abraham. I really recommend this one, but they also have The Law of Attraction, The Power of Intent. Uh, they have a bunch of other ones. I always lose them because I like to give them out to my friends and my friends love them so much that they don't give them back, which is totally fine with me. Basically, you get what you think about, whether you want it or not. Law of attraction is a universal law that our thoughts create our universe and our surroundings, whether they are positive or negative. Our thoughts have energy and vibration just like any physical thing in this world. Our thoughts radiate signals and they attract matching signals back. So if you have positive thoughts, you're attracting positive signals. If you have negative, you're attracting those. What we pay attention to comes to us. We are magnets and everything that we think about, we attract to us. Our energy creates our experience. In the words of Abraham, we radiate that which we are vibrationally and others of like intent assemble. So those are beautiful words and it really sums that up. There's little evidence to back this up scientifically, but the field is growing. In the description, I put a link that talks about mirror neurons and, you know, the science behind this concept. The law of attraction can help you to achieve your goals more effectively. It can help you to be happier about your current situation and to feel confident that your life is going to be exactly the way you want it to be. It can make you feel safe and secure about your future. The law of attraction will help you to create the life that you've always wanted. It will expose you to new experience and it will teach you the power behind good emotions. There are so many techniques, but the most important technique is gratitude. You have to wake up every day feeling gratitude, and that's not realistic. I don't wake up every day feeling grateful, obviously not, but those days that I do, those days that I maybe even wake up 10 minutes earlier and jot down what I'm grateful for, everything seems to happen right. So the first step is gratitude. Gratitude should be your attitude, and then everything else comes with it. Everyone says visualization, and I don't like that word. It feels like an empty word and it actually feels like work. I'm gonna say that one of the techniques that I use is daydreaming. I'm constantly daydreaming about what my life is going to be like, and I know that that way, because it's making me feel good, I'm feeling good feelings, those emotions are backing up my thoughts, which back up my words, and I am creating. So every time I daydream and I feel good, I'm creating my future and I'm creating the world around me. Another super important technique for law of attraction is 
is a behavioral change. So if you want something such as a job, you're going to have to change the way you behave. For example, if you wake up every day at 12 o'clock and you know go to sleep at two in the morning and you don't have any clothes that are suitable for your job, you're not going to get the job of your dreams. What you need to do is find out the hours that you need to be working, find out the clothes that you need to be wearing, even look up the route that you're going to be driving and maybe start driving that route a little bit. Don't be crazy about it, but you know, have fun with it. Once you start waking up at 8 a.m. to be at work at 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. and like work in those hours, do things that get you towards that job, you're going to get that job of your dreams so fast. And I've done this and it works. The fourth uh, technique that I use is affirmations. This is a very powerful thing to do. Basically, you wake up and you look at yourself and you tell yourself that you're powerful. And that might sound silly, but once you make that a habit, it's going to give you so much confidence and it's going to allow you to truly take over the world. Fifth is meditation and mindfulness. I don't personally meditate every single day. That is something that I'm working towards and I would say honestly five minutes a day of just being mindful and just focusing on your breathing and clearing your mind. When we aren't mindful and we're not focusing on the present, we're anxious about the future or we're worried about the future and we're anxious about the past. If we lived in the present, we would have a lot more energy and a lot more creative space to create the life that we want to live instead of just worrying about the future or things that happened in the past. So practice mindfulness and I will talk more about that if you guys are interested in it. I took a course in it, so I know a lot about it. Sixth one is karmic practice. So I truly believe that if you do good, you'll receive good. So every single day I try to do good for other people, whether it be, you know, handing out money to people or buying someone on the street lunch or just being there for a friend or calling someone and telling them that you're thinking about them. Just make somebody smile every single day and that's going to come back to you. Karma points add up and that's really good. It's going to come back to you. And the last one is action and this is kind of like behavioral change but if you want, like for example for me, if I want to be successful on YouTube, I can't just wish it and then go to sleep and expect to wake up in the morning with 300,000 subscribers. I have to put in the work. I have to put up the videos. You're not going to get anywhere unless you're putting in the work. You have to want it. You have to visualize. You have to daydream. You have to feel good about it. You have to feel like you already have it, but you also have to take steps to make this happen. For the sake of time, I'm not going to go too far into this. I'm not going to get detailed. So let me know if there's any experience you would like me to talk about in more detail in another video. Earlier on, when I was 14, I attracted relationships and friendships. You know, when you're 14, when you're a teenager, just starting high school, you're thinking about boys or girls as a boy or whatever, whatever your sexual orientation is. And, and having friends and being popular and blah, blah, blah. And I... Did I attracted my first boyfriend by law of attraction, which is kind of crazy. I won't go into that. Who knows who watches these videos. Later on, I attracted my internships at Power 106 with some help from my good friend. I attracted that experience to me. And then after that TMZ and after that E! News and also Warner Brothers, I worked for Bradley Cooper. I had amazing experiences. I worked for a congressman. I've done so much and it was all, all hands down law of attraction. I also manifested the school of my dreams. I was accepted into USC, graduated from USC. Yeah. And um, I manifested my semester abroad. It was something that I'd always wanted since I was a little girl and I made it happen. And I'm still shocked that it happened thinking back about it. I'll go into detail for one story. This is the most recent thing because this is a cautionary tale. So. When I graduated last May, I had been working my ass off for five months. I was taking five classes, I was finishing up my degree, I was working at E! News, and uh, um, I was just really overworked, I was busy 24-7. So graduation came around and people would ask me, you know, what are you doing? And I decided I need a break. I didn't want to work, I just wanted to rest, I wanted to sleep, I wanted to read, I just wanted to do nothing. So I didn't apply, I didn't plan to work straight out of college. I started telling people I'm going to work in October, that I'm going to get a job in October. And it went to the point where I even started to say that I have a job lined up in October, even though I had not applied, I did not have a job. Now, I'm a super type A personality, so after one month of nothing, of reading, laying in bed, hanging out with friends, blah, 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 
I had had enough. I was tired of sleeping in. I need to be up early and working. That's just what makes me happy. So I started being really depressed. So I got onto the computer and I would start sending out resumes and I started applying to jobs and I did this every day. I considered it my job. But at the same time, I was still telling people that I have a job lined up in October and I'm going to start working in October. And then it was this process because I wasn't getting any callbacks, I wasn't getting any interviews, I wasn't getting emails back, barely getting emails back. And I was so confused because someone with my experience and my education should at least be getting interviews. Because I wasn't getting an answer, when people would ask me what I was doing, my excuse was, oh, I'll start working in October. So I spent four months freaking out, anxious, just not enjoying my life, and a few weeks ago I got the most incredible entry-level job after university that almost anybody could ever ask for. And when did I get it? October. So be careful what you ask for because it's going to happen. You have to be very specific about the things that you want. If you convince yourself and others that you're going to be doing something, it's going to happen. And looking back, I should have enjoyed those four months that I had off because now, again, I'm busy 24-7 and hardly have any time to breathe. So. Such is life, but you live and you learn, right? So I wanna wrap this up, so I'm going to tell you guys in 30 seconds the important things I want you to know. So I have my timer and I'm going to read this because I wrote it all down. Let's go. The universe does not speak in words, it speaks in emotions and feelings. It cannot discern between a pen and an elephant. You can ask for either and it would not be hard for it to give you one or the other. The only limitations come from our own mind. So the hardest part of this practice is breaking down the preconception that anything is worth more than anything else because it costs more of its availability or its size or anything else. Also, if you have a certain disease, do not be hard on yourself. It's not your fault. You can fix it, but you didn't make it happen. This was my super quick introduction to the Law of Attraction and I hope you guys learned a lot. If you want more on this topic, read the description below. And if you want me to start posting several short videos a week about the Law of Attraction, like advice, tips, success stories, you know, celebrity stories, I know a lot after a decade of learning about this, I have a lot of information and a lot of advice. If you want that, comment down below the word elephant because I'll know that you watched the whole video and that you really do want more and also give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys. Thank you again so much for 500 subscribers. I can't wait to get to a thousand and have a beautiful week. Try to take some of the things I taught you today along with you and let me know how it goes for you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Y'all, I just manifested this peanut butter and chocolate parfait.